Hey everyone, welcome back to Easy Web Solution. Today we have something truly exciting in store for you. Are you ready to learn the art of generating and validating unlimited emails from every corner of the globe? By the time we are done, you'll be equipped with the knowledge and skills to confidently generate and validate emails like a season pro. And who knows, you might just discover a new superpower that takes your online presence to the next level. So, if you're ready to unlock the magic of image generation and validation, hit that like button, smash that subscribe icon, and let's embark on this incredible journey together. I'll leave a link in the video description. When you click on it, you will be directed to this page. Once you get here, the next thing to do is to click on this auto cut. Click on it. All right, you will be redirected to the checkout page. In here, you have to enter your information, your first name, last name. So I will enter my first name, last name, company. You can enter your company name, but it's optional. Your country. The street address, your town, relate your state, and your phone number. Please, on this email address field, you have to enter your correct email address because once you have placed the order, once the order and the payment is completed, this is the email address you will be sent the link to download the script please make sure you enter the email address correctly so once you are done click on this place order button okay this is the payment page or you can either pay with your card or ussd code or you can pay with your bank directly you can also use your bank transfer so i'll click on this bank transfer so these are the account details i have to make the payment to i have to make the payment of thirty thousand euro to this account number here where my bank so i will proceed to open my mobile app and make the transfer of thirty thousand error please you have to make the transfer of exact thirty thousand error once you have completed making the transfer you will click on i have made this bank transfer here the payment is verifying once the payment has been verified, once you get this receipt, it will be sent along with the link to download the file. This is the link. Click on it. And it's currently downloading. After downloading the files, find the folder where they were saved and extract the content on the zip file. Once this step is complete, open the extracted folder inside. You will find two folders. The first folder is the image generator folder, which we will use to generate emails. The second folder contains the email validating software that will be employed to validate the emails we generate. To begin, let's proceed with generating emails. Move your cursor over the image generator folder and click on it. Inside, find image generator and click on it. In this box, activate the image generator by copying and pasting the license key here.
After that, click Activate. Now the activation is done, let's proceed to the image generation step. Firstly, we need to configure the settings to achieve the desired outcome. Move your console over to the import name section. Identify the file containing people's first name. Since I'm in need of emails from people in Nigeria, adjustment is needed. To make these changes, start by locating your database folder, open it. Here we will find a list of various countries and how they are defined. As I'm generating emails of people in Nigeria, I will copy the file name Nigeria first name and then navigate back to the image generator. Replace USA first name.txt with Nigeria first name.txt. Once done, follow the same step to replace USA surname.txt with Nigeria surname.txt. Once done, click import names and go to the next step. Now all names are imported successfully. Click OK to move to the next field. In this section, type in the email service you are generating. If you are focusing on Yahoo emails or any other email service, you can easily adjust this here. Once done, click the next button. You can leave this field blank for optimal result. Click on next. On this field, you have to check the email address has to have a random numbers at the end of the name. Allow me to clarify this further. Similar to Google, when you're creating an account, if a particular username has already been used to set up an account, you won't be able to use that exact username again. Instead, you will need to add some random numbers to it in order to proceed. For optimal result, let's check it and click the generate email list. Now you can see we generated 8000 emails with just a click on the button. To generate more, click on OK and create a new task folder. You can even just make changes from the one here. Delete it and add to. Then click generate. Now you can see we generated another 8,000 emails with just a click on the button. Before we move on to the validation step, let me quickly show you how you can target a particular city in a country with this amazing software. For instance, we are targeting people living in Lagos State, Nigeria. Nigeria is a diverse country with over 250 ethnic groups and languages each with its own naming convention, like the Yorubas. The state Lagos is said to have a population of over 73% Yorubas. To target the Yorubas, which are mostly found in Lagos State, Nigeria, is simple. Firstly, we have to include a test document of Lagos, Nigeria inside the database. To include a test document in the database, follow this step. Locate your database folder and open it. Then right click next, move your cursor over new, click on it and select test document. Now name the document Lagos Nigerian first name. Once you are finished, save it. As I mentioned previously, 
the image generator operates by using the first name and the last name stored in the database. We have successfully created a test document containing the first name. As the software requires both first name and surname, we need to create a test document for surname as well. You can follow the same process once more. Or just make a copy of the initial test document. To copy, move your console over the Lagos Nigeria first name test document file. Hold down the control key and press C. In another way, Move your console over the Lagos Nigeria first name test document file, right click, select copy and click on it. This will make a copy of the document. To paste it, you can easily use Ctrl plus V shortcut key on your keyboard. In another way, right click and find the paste option. Click on it and you will observe a copy of the Lagos Nigeria first name document. Move back to that area and rename the copy document first name as surname. Once you have done that, move away from the name field and left click. You will now notice that the test document for Lagos Nigeria surname has been successfully created. Now let's move on to the next step. Adding names to the Lagos Nigeria first name test document we've made. To begin, open the document. When you open it, you will see that there are no names yet. What we need to do now is create a list of Yoruba names to add to the document. You might feel a bit worried about having to think of Yoruba's name to add to the list. Luckily, with the help of ChatGPT, we don't have to do the hard work ourselves. Open ChatGPT. If you don't have an account yet, create one. Once you're on this screen, type in the command. And when you're finished, hit the enter key. Now we have a list of 300 Yoruba's first name. Select the names by marking them. and then copy them. Go back to the Lagos Nigeria test document that we opened earlier and paste the name into it. Once that is done, move your console over to the file menu, click on it. Find the save option and click on it. Do the same step again to create a list of surname for Lagos Nigeria surname.
to generate emails with these settings, follow the same step we use in modify USA firstname.txt and USA surname.txt to Nigeria firstname.txt and Nigeria surname.txt. Now it's time to move on to the part of validating the emails we generated. To do this, locate the folder where the email validator software is downloaded. Open the folder and locate the software email validator. Open it and once it's open, the first thing is to import files. To do this, locate the import TST file. Click on it and then locate the folder where the email we generated is stored. Click on it and then click on open. Now our file is imported. To start validation, click the start validation button. Then click yes. Now relax a bit until the process is completed. You can see now that our email has been validated. To check the result, first click on the OK. Then locate the view email and click on it. Here we have the report of the valid emails and also the invalid emails. Click on save to save the result. Give it a name. Once done, click on save. I hope it's on job. We have just walked an incredible adventure into the world of email creation and checking. Give yourself a high five for mastering the skills of making and verifying emails like a child. But wait, the fun doesn't stop here. Prepare yourself for even more amazing stuff coming your way. In our coming video, we are going to spill the pens on how to send as many emails as you want without spending a dime. Yep, you heard that right. We are diving deep into the world of smart, budget-friendly email distribution. Whether you're a small business owner aiming to expand your reach or someone who wants to stay connected with friends, our next video will be your guide. Say farewell to expensive email service and say hello to informed strategies that won't hurt your wallet. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and tap that notification bell so you'll be the first to know when our video lands. And if this video gave you a boost, give us a thumbs up and share it with your fellow email fans. Your support keeps us excited and ready to bring you more awesome content. Thanks for joining us on this journey and we are excited to catch you on the next video where we will solve the mystery of sending unlimited emails for free. Until then, keep exploring, keep learning and keep exploiting the magic of your emails.